Hi, my name is Andy. Welcome or welcome back. I'm really happy that you're here. Today I'm doing my intro for a new painting project on my channel. It is Out the Door in 24. You take 24 items. They could be makeup, any miscellaneous beauty items, skincare, hair care, body care, anything, and you use them the whole year and you get them out. You get them out the door. This is a fantastic ladies collab and it was created by Deb from the channel Deb B. I will have a link to her channel in the description box below. Uh, she is so entertaining, hilarious, and uh, just a really great person. And I enjoy speaking with her uh, on Instagram and watching her videos. There's a part two to this project. Uh, not only do you take your 24 items and you use them and get them out the door, but every month, every update, you have to have decluttered something from your house, 24 items from your home. It could be napkins. It could be junk mail. It could be straws in your junk drawer at home. It could be anything uh, that is taking up space in your house. So we are trying to get 2024 to be a very uncluttered place. Um, I would love that. I would love that. I don't like clutter, you guys. I don't like clutter. So let's just go ahead and get started. I have the e.l.f putty primer. You can see it has been used quite a bit, but I believe this is my oldest, oldest primer in my collection. Um, this is not my favorite primer in the world, but I can deal with it. I use a, like a stippling brush type thing and put it on that way. And I have found that it works a little better for me that way. We have not always been friends. I did not like this for the longest time. Next up is the Catrice Prime and Fine. Very similar to the putty primer. This one is a little bit creamier. You can see there's a little baby, baby pan all the way in the, at the bottom there. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it's a little creamier. So for me, it's a little easier to apply, melts into the skin a little better. Um, I think more than either one of them, I enjoy the e.l.f. liquid putty primer. Love that. And if two putty primers are not enough, we have a third. Do. This is the Essence Prime Studio Poreless Skin Blurring Putty Primer. Silicone free, smoothing with squalene or with smoothing squalene, whatever. This is not my favorite. It's okay. Uh, it is older and I just want to use it and get it out. This is where I am right now. There is an air bubble in here. I know there is. So that's where I am right now. Oh, also I did take photos of things like this things where you could see the progress. I did take photos. I'm not a weigher, you guys. I'm not a weigher, a weigher. I don't weigh my products. Um, I was going to weigh certain products that you can't really see too much. Um, the progress. Um, I love watching the panners that weigh things. It is great seeing that progress. I'm not dissing them. I'm just saying I don't personally like to weigh, so I'm not weighing. Next up is the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. Um, you can see right through the packaging, but I did mark where I am right there. And it is a it is a type of airless pump. It goes from the top down instead of from the bottom up, like some of them do. Um, it has a sponge tip applicator. I do recommend if you have this or if you buy this, this comes off. Take it off and wash it often because I, I don't like this. Um, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it applies easily that way, but it just harbors so much freaking bacteria and I'm not a germaphobe, you guys, but that's gross. So I do take it off and I do wash it about every other, every third time that I use this. Sometimes I don't use it at all. I take it off. I click it. I put it on my little palette and use it that way. I'm just saying, if you have this, wash it just wash it. It washes very easily. Next up is the e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. Um, this is the shade three. Oh, this is the shade 1.5. This is the shade three. This is what I was talking about. I don't know my progress. I did the uh, flashlight thing at the bottom. I think this is where I am. I could be down further, but I don't think I am. I think this is where I am. Hopefully, um, as it gets down a little further, I'll be able to tell and be able to let you know my progress on that. I will tell you how many times I used it, but you know, 
I'm going to be able to see. Next up is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Love, love this, but it is one of my oldest foundations. This is my, this is where I am right now. This is in the shade number 27. It is a little dark for me. It's a little dark for me. I only have one foundation that actually matches my skin tone right now, and I'm using it. Everything else is too dark. I have one thing that's way too light, but, um, I just bought some mixing pigment, the white LA, LA girl, LA girl mixing pigment. So I'll be able to use this a little bit easier. L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. Also a very lovely product. This is where I am right now. As far as I can tell, again, flashlight bottom. Uh, I think that's where I am. Also too dark for me. Too dark for my skin right now, but uh, I right now I've been mixing it with my um, Wet n Wild Photo Focus. That's the one I'm using that is perfect shade. Perfect perfection shade for me right now. And so I mix that a little bit to make it a little better. But when I get the mixing liquid, mixing pigment, uh, it'll be, I'll be able to use it a lot better, a lot better. Next product is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Light Beige. Um, this was my first e.l.f. concealer that I bought. It's old. It doesn't smell yet. I just smelled it a couple days ago when I was getting my stuff together for this. I can't use this under my eyes at all, at all. So, um, I use it like the center of my face, nose, un, uh, you know, around my nose, um, chin, um, you know, down here, all of that. That's where I use it. And I did not mark it yet, but when I look at this, I can see daylight like down here. So I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking it's about like about that much. But, uh, once I take the stopper out of it and I will, all I have to do is, you know, stir it around and stuff and I'll, there's probably months worth of, worth of product in here. Months. I will mark it too. Uh, I will see if I can figure out where I am and mark it. Okay. The next product we're moving on to powders. I have several powders that are almost all gone. I have the mark set things right. This is a loose perfecting powder. Uh, I use this as a finishing powder. It just kind of buffs everything out and gives a really nice um, airbrushed look. Mark, if you didn't know, is an offset, an offshoot of Avon. It was marketed toward uh, younger, younger people, uh, a little trendier, all of that. This is what that looks like. You guys, there's not much powder in here at all. Um, there's a lot of powder stuck to the sides and you can't really see much. You can see a little bit of windowing there. I took the sifter out yesterday just to see how much was left in here. It's almost gone. It's almost gone. And I was thinking about mixing it with something else, but I'm not doing that. I'm just going to finish it, get it out. Next up is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Loose Powder. Holy Grail. Holy grail. Um, I did mark it a couple days ago. This is where I am here. Almost gone again, almost gone. There's a ton of product in here and for the price, you can't beat it because it is a lovely powder. This is one of the only powders that I own that I can wear underneath my eyes. This, the elf HD and the NARS. I can wear those under my eyes. That's it. So, uh, this will be a repurchase at some point. Uh, I want to finish some of my other powders first. Next up is the bakery beauty bakery flower powder. Cause you know, I need more powders in here. That is where I am now. And you guys, I am not a fan of this powder. I can't wear it under my eyes at all. I do wear it on the rest of my face just to get through it. And as you can see, it was in another project at some point and used quite a bit. So again, almost gone, almost gone. The beauty crop vitamin bake bronzer. I got this. It came like in a little gift set in my sleigh glam box or something like that. Um, I actually enjoy this bronzer quite a bit. The packaging is crap. It broke, but 
what I'm going to do, this is what I'm going to do. There is a caveat to this. Um, I'm going to use the rest of this and then I'm probably going to call it done because what, I, what I do is I swirl my brush in the, th the whole thing, but for whatever reason, this has gotten used more than this. It could be, uh, that this is a little bit more hard pressed. I don't know, but I don't need that. I don't need that for anything. So I'm going to use the rest of this and then call it finito girl by. And then I have the revolution cream bronzer. I have a lot of bronzers in here. They're all different and use them for different things. And, um, some of them are almost gone. So the revolution cream bronzer, this is an amazing cream bronzer. I do love it. You can see how much I love it. It is almost gone. Almost. I mean, there's still months worth of use here, but yes, I'm going to get it out. This will get repurchased at some point. I do have a, an ABH cream bronzer that I got from my friend, Laura, that I love. It is lovely. And, um, and then I have some elf putty bronzers that I will have to use a little, a few before I actually repurchase that. Speaking of elf putty bronzer, this is the putty bronzer in tan lines. This is not the luminous. This is the regular in tan lines. Um, you can see it has been used quite a bit. The problem I have with these problem I have with these here, I'm left-handed, um, getting the brush in it, like it's so much easier to do this than it is to do this. Like it's really difficult to get it on. Like, look, it's dumb. So what I might do is once this is done, I might depot this into this. I might, I've talked about it before. I might, we'll see. Oh, another cream bronzer ish product. This is the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade tan latte. The reason this is in my collection is because I was buying on Alta tan walnut, which is a very cool shade as you, as you can see. And I use that as a cream contour. Um, I bought that before the cream contour wands came out. So I was using that as a cream contour. I ordered an Alta. They sent me tan latte. And I didn't even realize it at first. Um, it's very warm. It's very warm shade. And so I just want to get it out. I know they sent me the wrong thing because I always order from my wish list. The things that I are repurchases over and over, I order from my wish list. But anyway, that's where it is right here. As far as I can tell, I think it's right here. Um, yeah. So we'll get that used up because it's kind of old too. Next up is the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. It is considered a bronzer, but as you can see, it is a very cool shade. Very cool. And I use this as a powder contour. And I was thinking about repressing it into the middle, but this is the brush I use with it. This is the brush I always use with it. And you can see how skinny that brush is. And as long as I can still, you know, get my brush up here to get product, then I'm not going to repress it. I'm going to keep it as is and use it. As you can see, this is definitely one of my oldest bronzers. Definitely. What else do we have? Okay. We have another bronzer and then we're done. Another bronzer, then we're done. Okay, so you may ask, why you got so many bronzers in there? Well, I'll tell you. It's because this one's almost gone. That one's almost gone. This is a cream bronzer, not a powder bronzer. This is a cream, and almost gone, almost gone. Cream bronzer, not powder bronzer. Not actually a bronzer, a contour. This is actually a bronzer. I am bringing in my Franken bronzer. I Frankened, I mixed um, two Sydney Grace eyeshadows with a Natasha Denona shimmer eyeshadow to make this 
bronzer. And let me tell you what, it's lovely. And I really love this bronzer so much. See, look at that. Do you see the shine, the luminosity on that? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Um, and if you look at this, you can see the rings, but these aren't the rings that are in the bottom of the pan. If you look at that, when I pressed it, I put another pan on top of it and pressed it. So that's just the imprint from the bottom of the pan. I don't exactly know how thick this is in here and how much of the product is in there. So we're going to find out together we are. One more powder. This is a pressed powder though. And this is the Avon Glow Pressed Powder. Um, sun, sun Kissed Glow. Okay, there's no glow to this. I don't know why it's called a glow because they're bronzers that were in the same packaging back in the day. I actually did have a little bit of glow to them. Actually, uh, my bronzer that I used to get looks a lot like that. A ton. Looks a lot like that. But if you can see the rings on that, like I am almost to pan. This is definitely the oldest powder in my collection by far. Um, I've had this forever and I'm going to get it out. Next up, there's actually two things here. They're the same thing. They're both almost empty uh, because one was a handbag liquid lipstick and one was a beauty room liquid lipstick. These are both uh, NYX liquid suede in the shade soft spoken. They're both almost gone, like almost gone. Um, this one, I'm about to take the stopper out of it. This was my handbag one. And this was my beauty room one. That is what it looks like. It is a beautiful shade. You guys, this was my only lipstick for years. Not, not these exact ones, but this shade, this type, only lipstick forever. That's the only one I used. That and the next one, which is NYX Liquid Suede in the shade Sandstorm. Um, equally as beautiful. And all of these have been discontinued. Damn it. NYX, why? Why do you do this? However, there's the Sandstorm. However, I have two backups, thanks to my friend Leanna, who sent them to me because she knew how overwrought I was. Because I'm... Like, seriously, this is Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Gone. Whatever. So, um, I'm going to put these two and then this one. I mean, this is separate. That These two are together. But even together, they don't make a whole. So, technically 25, but we're just going to say 24. All right. Next up. Lipstick. This is ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade... Uh, heavy petal. This was from the Orchid You Not collection when the Orchid You Not came out. And I, it's old. It's old. I haven't used it very much at all. I'm putting it all the way up, but I'm being very careful because it's broken right down there. So I won't be doing this very much. I did mark it on my paper. It is beautiful. It is such a pretty shade. But I'm going to finish it. I am, you guys. I'm going to finish it. Oh, did I just mess it up? Um, I'm going to finish it. And then the next lipstick. You guys, we got to talk. If you've been with me, if you watched my, if you followed my deck of panning journey last year, you'll be very familiar with this lipstick because it was in the whole time. Basically it wasn't, it wasn't, it came in in May, put it in for 50 uses. And I, I wasn't thinking, I wasn't thinking it's the color pop lippy stick in the shade best intentions. When I did my when I did my finale, that is what it looks like. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is a beautiful lip color. It is a very nice formula. I enjoy the formula. I'm sick of looking at it. Sick of looking at it. So why did I bring this in here? Um, because I just want to get it out. It is an older lipstick in my collection. I want to get it out 
And, um, and I'm not a quitter. Dang it. I'm not a quitter. I didn't meet my goal last year. I 50 use goal. It took me from May to December to use it 25 times, 25 or 28 times. Unacceptable. So I'm putting this into finish and I mean, I used a quarter of it last year. I did. So there is how much is left. Still quite a bit, especially since it's basically just a fall. I mean, I could wear this in the summer if I wore like browns and or um, gold. Uh, I don't know. You guys don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. One more item and then I'm going to let you go. Um, I have the Ace Butte eyeshadow primer in the shade light. This is my oldest eyeshadow primer. It looks to be, I look to be about here, but I know there's a huge air bubble in here. I know there is, I can feel it. So I don't know exactly how much is left in here, but I know that I've had this for a really long time and I've used it a lot. And here's the issue with this much product left. This is how much I use. It's that little baby dot right there for both eyes. That's how much I use because a little bit of this goes a long ass way. I mean, like, look at that. So for both eyes, I use that little bitty, little bitty dot. We'll see how long that takes, but I had to put that in here because this used to be my Holy Grail. It's no longer my Holy Grail. Um, I really like the Urban Decay Primer Potion, the Elf, and the Alter Ego are all very similar, and I really like those. I don't have to set those. I do have to set this. So that's why. That's why I need to get it out. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Let me know in the comments below, are you doing this project? Whether at home, on your channel, whatever. Let me know if you're doing this or a variation of it. Uh, I've seen a lot of 24 and 24s, and they're not all the same type of... Um, of project. They're not all the same project. So let me know. I really appreciate you being here. And until our next adventure, everyone have a great day and we'll see you later.